The other day I had started to review all of my Willensack portable cassette recorders. I planned on doing them all three at once, but uh, lots of interruptions made me stop after the 400. So today we'll get back to the 4200 from 1968. The nice box it came in. With instructions, service paperwork. Looking at some of the instructions here. Standard Phillips configuration. These things take five batteries, five C cells. That's really kind of a nightmare. Although it could be worse, I have a Norelco carry player which does not record and does not do reverse. And it takes six C cell batteries, so things could be worse. And there's uh, some of the specifications. Comes with this nice big black hard plastic carrying case, which uh, it has a big magnet right here, so you have to put it on its back and then push up. And inside, you have a place for your recorder and the microphone and a carrying strap. So when you have your uh, microphone, and your recorder. I was very lucky when I got this. I knew that I would have to change the belts, but when I got inside, although the belts were very soft and gooey, they had not dissolved. So I was able to peel them off without any cleaning, really, and slip new ones on, and I was done in uh, 15 minutes. So this is, uh, as you can see, a Phillips 3302 model. Anybody familiar with the Phillipses will recognize that. And let's see how it plays. Once again, all of the music is royalty free courtesy of danosongs.com. I don't get consistent battery or recording level meter deflection here. It works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of potluck. It sounds fairly decent. There's an outlet here for headphones. I don't have the Willensack version, so I'm not going to demonstrate it. I do have the Norelco 3302 version. So when I do my Norelco 3302s, the Carry Quarter 150, I will demonstrate that then. Of course, this is simply the standard Phillips gear shift control. Reverse. Fast forward. Volume control over here for playback. Next to it is the volume control for recording. Speaking of recording, let's see if we can make one here. plug in our mics. The mic and then the remote jack here. We'll uh, turn that to off. Push in. 
set to play. All right, we should be recording here for the Woolen Sack 4200 from 1968, which is also a Phillips 3302. I have a little newspaper ad here showing the 4200 on sale from the uh, Pittsburgh Press in December 1968 for a Christmas present. So let's play this back and see what it sounds like. Woolen sack 4200 from 1968. Guess I should have run the leader, leader which down. is also a Phillips 3302. newspaper ad here showing the 4200 on sale from the uh, Pittsburgh Press in December 1968 for a Christmas present. So let's play this back and see what it sounds like. Well that's it. A quick look at the Woolen Sack 4200 from 3M. As you can see, uh, it's uh, made in Holland. Mine was made sometime in 1968, but I can't quite tell those date codes. The earlier date codes were so simple, but the later ones that became just three digits were a little harder. But uh, I can say that it was made in 1968. So that's it for the Willensack Sack 4200. Set player from 1968. Um, thanks for watching.